All right, if you're new to Hazard 4 and Hazard 5, and you're finding yourself overwhelmed with bugs, which is very common, and you're constantly dying and you're not succeeding in the missions, I'm going to give you a couple secrets for getting started. All right, the drop pod's down. You don't have to get out just yet. Look around, make sure you're not about to jump into anything too terrible. And one of the big things about Hazard 4 and 5 is you really have to be productive, right? So, there are times you're fighting bugs, and whenever you're not fighting bugs, you need to be getting Nitra or completing the mission objective, pretty much. If you're not getting Nitra whenever you're not fighting, if you're not completing your objective whenever there are no bugs around, you're just gonna be overwhelmed ultimately. Because, you know, monsters, these bugs, are gonna keep coming and coming and coming. Um, if they're coming and coming and coming and you're not really getting Nitra and stuff, uh, you're never gonna win. You're gonna be overwhelmed, you're gonna run out of health, you're gonna run out of ammo, grenades, all the big things. I do have the uh, overclock on the gunner that makes it so you can't, like, if I'm firing, I can't move around. That's why you see the jumping. It's kind of like Team Fortress 2 Heavy. You do, you do the same thing. You do a lot of jumping with the minigun because it slows you down significantly. But, uh, Help me Bosco. This. And I'll see you during the next uh, swarm. All right, so here's the swarm. I'm down in the lower level of the map now. I'm in the big tunnel. Uh, so... Whoa. Biggest thing here is to run. Run, 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 run. Always be... Mobility is key. That's part of the reason why I chose the gunner and this overclock. Um, uh, probably one of the most difficult things to run as. But, uh, even for me, it's still the key, is to run. And you'll see more as this gets serious. So, the bugs have a tendency to surround you. It's kind of their thing. They kind of come from all angles. They're coming from the... You know, if you got your back to the wall, in a lot of games, that means the enemies are coming from one direction, but things in this game are coming down the walls, right? Oh, and definitely watch out for the slashers. The slashers will slow you down when they hit you. But I have the... I have the mining platform and everything here. This isn't too bad yet. Pretty chill. This is point extraction, so it's the later waves that get rough. But let's get out of there. But, uh, I mean, like that, that's pretty serious. And a lot of new players, that big group, that had a couple of slashers, a bunch of grunts, some of these swarmers. I mean, that could take you down really quick in Hazard 5 if you let it. Um, but you have to always run. It matters whether you're using the toggle sprint or the whatever. So if you go to options, I think it's under controls. So you can hold to sprint or you can toggle sprint. I'm using toggle. So I just press shift and now I'm, I don't, I'm not holding it and I'm just continuing to do the sprint. But then if I stop holding forward and hold it now, then it's, I'm not sprinting anymore. So I do use toggle sprint. You use what's ever most comfortable for you, but you have to understand how it works and use it effectively. So long, I'll see you during the next swarm. Okay, so this is a game that really punishes you if you try and sort of like stand up and man fight instead of running, right? So like if I stand in this corner, uh, I might have the damage output to sort of deal with it and stay in the corner, but for the most part, you're kind of expecting to get your ass kicked. Not that. Uh, definitely use all your stuff, right? Lots and lots of people I see not using all their grenades for example or not using their shields and then they go to resupply because they ran out on their main gun and haven't used anything on anything else right haven't used grenades hasn't used their secondary hasn't used utility hasn't used traversal tool but you know I, like if you if you stay calm even when you're kind of surrounded by a lot of stuff you're generally pretty safe. You're, you can't necessarily outrun everything. And this thing, that's super dangerous, right? The slasher. They slow you. But you definitely want to use traversal tools. 
particularly uh, scouts great at it. All right, let's take a look at the time. It's uh, 16 minutes. You know, the spawns, I think, get a little bit more frequent here. It's a little bit later when it starts to be a constant wave. I mean, the swarm just ended and I already got more bugs here. So, I mean, this is kind of how point extraction works. But uh, one of the biggest things you want to start thinking about in terms of like, okay, well, you know you need to run, right? That's important. But certain cave layouts are easy to run in and certain cave layouts are almost impossible. So, we take a look at this. We've got a, you know, a smooth slope that's like not too hard to walk up on one side. This side here. And then over on this side, we have a big drop off. And this is like a very nice uh, thing for us. It makes it very easy to escape bugs. And uh, it's probably one of the best things to have around when a big swarm is around. Now, if you're a uh, engineer, you can throw a platform down there and just jump off. If you're a gunner, you can throw a zip line off. You can zoom down here really quick. We're taking sort of a direct line from up there to down here, right? So let me go sort of get rid of this. Okay. So you start up here. And then you go down here, and you can go down very, very quick. But bugs, unless they're flying or they're ranged, bugs have to come melee you, more or less. And they're going to do it by sort of a direct... Uh, they have to go. They have to travel directly on surfaces. So while you're going to come in a straight line, or if you're an engineer, you're going to jump down, and it's going to be really quick, the bugs have to, like, skitter down the wall, onto the floor, and then do you. So they're directly taking a longer path to do what you just did, more or less, to get from up there to down here. So this is one of my favorite um, uh, sort of cave features, is a slope and then a cliff. Because it's very easy for you to come up here, either jump down as an engineer or slide down as this, or if you're a scout, you can just sort of do whatever. <laughs> if you're a driller, you're kind of hoping someone else on your team has made something like this or put a platform down there. Um, but like you could sort of do ring around the rosy around here, up to there, down to the floor, kind of around the cave wall, make them chase you and then back up the hill, right? So. It's good to know that running is good, but you need to take the cave layout into consideration. Uh, there are certain places that are good to run in, easy to run in, uh, and then there are places that are hard and almost always get you killed. You start to learn that through experience, but uh, there are definitely times where I, in a, I'll be in a cave and I'll only find one or two places that I think are actually kind of really good to fight in, so, you know, let's say uh, let's say you're down there getting a the quarks, and the whole thing down there is like hard to fight in, right? Well, maybe every time the swarm happens, you just say, okay, well, I got to get out of there, and I got to come up here, and I got to fight in my arena, right? Because that, you know, is a good place to fight. And you know, I've had like in the mining expeditions where you know where you're trying to get more kites those are fairly linear you know i've had times where like a swarm will start while i'm in a hallway so i'll go back to the last room because the last room was a good place to fight and the hallway i'm in now is a bad place to fight so gotta go. leave the room i gotta leave the hallway uh it's 20 minutes in i'll wait until we get sort of uh this crazy endless respawn of uh nonsense and uh see you then Okay, so here's me. I'm kind of against the wall here in the corner. I could mine this gold. Probably not the best time to mine the gold. I got some grunts here. Guard, slasher, praetorian, for a grenade up here. The goo bomber right there bombing. Very uh, interesting looking. But, uh, you know, the situation you're in here, if you try and, like, 
man fight this. If you use a shield on Gunner, you could probably man fight this. You know, just like blow through all of it really quick, shoot him in the mouth kind of deal. Uh, that being said, let's say you're out of shields or you're in a different class. Like, this is a pretty dangerous situation. The obvious thing here to, is to run. I do have... Oh, my zip line down is over here, right? This is my zip line down. But if I try and run through this pack, one, I'm going to take a lot of damage, and two, the slasher's right there. He'll hit me, I'll get slowed down, I won't be able to sprint, probably get, like, wrecked, then I might get goo-bombed. So, from here... Oh! So I have two options, I could throw a zip line up from up here and then take the zip line down, or just jump, hold E, and hit that zip line. And you'll just automatically grab it and take new fall damage, which is probably what I'll do. Oops, still taking a little bit of damage, but I'm alive! All right, so there you go. Now, like, we just took that big fall in, like, an instant. Oh, no. It's bitter. Oh, gosh. But, uh, look how long it's taken them to get to me down here. I mean, it's taking them forever. Praetorian's nowhere near him anymore. That one slasher, who was a big risk to us, you know, we just killed him. Took a long time. Uh-oh. Well, you know, I still die. Probably didn't need to do that either. Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of things? Get over here. I need your health. I'm out of grenades. Alright, down here. See, this was a goofy position to put myself in, but... We'll walk around this pillar. I was gonna maybe take the zip line down, but it doesn't look that serious. I don't need to zip down there right now. Shield charged and, ready. and I just came over here because I was waiting for my shield to charge up, and then I'm gonna grab uh, this. Let me throw down one of these. Kill the warden. And then start running again. Alright. So, you know, we're 22 minutes in to a point extraction. You know, the wave just ended, and of course we've got new stuff already, right? This is kind of how it goes. You're just getting more and more swamped with more and more things, and... You know, running out of nitra, so that's why there's sort of a time limit on how long you can spend in really any mission, but especially higher level missions, higher level point extraction. Oh, are these where my last Ebo nuts are? This is where I can get more nitra, though. How much do I need? Uh, two. <laughs> I need two so I can get a resupply, so I, I'm good. All right, well, what, where are we? We're 25 minutes in. Almost 26 minutes. Got another swarm. And I can't find these last two Evo nuts. Because again, I can never find them. Uh, that's not a, actually a hole up there that I thought it was. It's just a little outcove kind of thing. Whoops. Oh, come on. So, um, also the platform here is more or less running out of ammo. I think there's only one turret left. Oh, no, they're gone. The turrets disappear when they run out of ammo, by the way. So, uh, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna call it. Whoa. Thank you, Bosco. Let's throw this down over here. Hit the button. My name returning. Escape can inbound. Expect heavy resistance until we can pick you up. All right, get rid of that. So many swarmers. Shield charged and ready. Probably be better if I had that right at the tip of the rock. So I didn't have to sort of raise it as I went down, or just run closer to the edge before I get on the zip line. But as you can see, I, I'm doing the loop that I mentioned, you know? 
I ran around the edge of the room, back up to here, jump on this, come over here, and I'll, all of a sudden I've got all this space, right, between me and them. In this case, I'm just, like, not really shooting anything, kind of letting Bosco do it. Except for that acid spitter up on the roof, making me really nervous. Because they always are annoying. See? Just this loop that I mentioned before. So, um, you're going to want to start to look quickly at cave layouts and start to understand where is it easy to run, where is it hard to run, how are you going to get away. The, the more, in general, the more room you have, the better. Because you have more ways to make use of the room than the bugs. And always use your traversal tools. You know, uh, what's really good is, you know, let's say you're on an egg hunt mission and you're a gunner and like you have this one sort of giant room and then the eggs are spread around the walls and the ceiling. As gunner, you can sort of set up a couple tactical zip lines that make the whole room into like a playground of dodging bugs. Oh, uh, let's see here. I would look at my map to see where the thing is, but I'll just wait for a second. I'm probably going to shield and grab ammo. Just, you know, why not? Please, oppressor. Don't do the thing. Oh, I got it. Did I ever go up here? Is this where my Ebo nuts are? Go away, acid spitters. Oh my goodness. Acid spitters. Oh yeah, I definitely went up here. A lot. <laughs> As you can see by all the zip lines. No! All right, so, uh, yeah, that's something to think about. Definitely run, 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 run. That's that's the first thing. But more important, well, not more importantly, but once you know to run, once you know that, like, running is good and man fighting is a great way to lose, your next sort of thing is start to identify the cave features that make running easy for you and chasing hard for them, right? That's pretty much it. Alright, so I'm in the Azure bio zone or whatever. Uh, Azure wield. And uh, this place, uh, the dense bio zone doesn't have any missions in it that I can go to right now. But uh, this place, you see how the walls often curve like this? And in dense bio zone, the walls are like often like really heavily scooped. That's even better for everything I was talking about. In those places, you're always going to want to look at uh, putting up zip lines and uh, the platforms. Because if we look at it like this, let's. This is not a very high one. What the heck? Oh, you got the gas in the way. So like from there, from here to there, as engineer, it's like nothing to just jump it. But if you have a scooped out wall or a wall that sort of juts out at the top and slants in, this just makes it even longer and longer and longer for bugs to have to get to you. They got to come all this thing to get over to here. So even though this is a small jump and you could take it without a platform, really. I don't, I don't know if you'd take any damage at all. If you did, it would be trivial. Uh, a lot less than the bugs would deal to you in Hazard 5. You know, a big swarm of slashers and stuff. This is a really nice configuration. And uh, look at a precipice like this. You know, you can make a jump with that, with a with a platform gun. Or a uh, zip line. You know, zip line over to there or something. And then if the bugs follow you all the way to this precipice... I know it's really dark, right? I mean, you can see this precipice, right? So, if they follow you all the way out to there and then you jump down onto a platform, you know, they gotta walk probably until they get right there and then they'll walk down this wall to come get you, which is just insanely long for them. So, you're gonna wanna keep out on the lookout for these sorts of features. This would be okay to jump off to. I mean, it's not nearly as long. They would probably come along this edge to this wall and then down. 
But uh, these sort of features, identifying them, make your sort of runaway game super... Well, they make it possible, really. If it was just a real sort of flat ground or a small little alcove that you had to fight swarms in, I mean, you just get overwhelmed and wrecked. No barrels with you on missions, but I applaud your efforts. We fight for rock and stone. Stop it now. 